Hello, my name is Karen Albrecht, and I'm a summer student here at the Oshawa Museum. Thank you for joining me for this monthly podcast series. Today I'm going to be talking about Joseph Dick, a citizen of Oshawa. Born in Jackson Township, Stark County, Ohio, on May 28, 1840, Joseph Dick was a machinist in Oshawa from 1863 to 1874. Later becoming a proprietor of his own business, Dick's Agricultural Works, which was located in Canton, Ohio. What's really interesting about Joseph is his patent from 1869 for the improvement of the velocipede to be called Joseph Dick Jr. Lightning Speed Combined Velocipede. The velocipede was invented by French inventor Nicephore Nisith in 1818. It is described as a vehicle that is powered by man with two or more wheels and has pedals. This invention is now commonly known as the bicycle. Throughout the period of 1818 till 1880, many different improvements were made to the velocipede to make the machine faster, more productive, and more comfortable for the rider. To learn more about the functions of the velocipede, visit www.bicyclehistory.net. Joseph's improvement to the velocipede made the machine faster by altering the gears. In the Daily Kansas Tribune from May 21, 1869, an article was written about Joseph's invention. The gear was arranged that with one motion of the foot, the front wheel would make two revolutions. Another brake will throw the machinery into gear, so that the foot will move twice to one revolution of the wheel adapted for ascending hills. A third adaption will throw the cranks off the wheel, and thus the velocipede will roll down roll downhill without the feet moving. A fourth arrangement will convert the whole into an ordinary bicycle. When in full speed, it can be driven a mile in two minutes. Joseph's early life was spent going to school only four months of the year, while the rest of the year he helped his father, Joseph Dick Sr., on the farm. At the age of 17, Joseph began to learn the art of making models for inventors in Canton. In 1861, he was employed in an agricultural implement works in Canton for two years and then proceeded to help his father on the farm again for another eight months. In 1864, Joseph immigrated into Canada, settling in Oshawa. Joseph was married to Rosanna McKitterick on May 14, 1866, in Oshawa. The couple had six children, Emma, William, Charles, Frank, Agnes, and Laura. After working for the A.S. Whiting Manufacturing Co. for 11 years, Joseph moved back to Ohio and began his own factory. Dick's agricultural works was rather successful, employing up to 70 men in the busy season. Joseph was an inventor of all his machinery and tested his goods before selling them. By 1900, the company reached its peak and had an annual business of over $100,000. Some of his other patents and successful products include Dick's famous patent feed, truck and sack holder, and his famous insulage cutting machinery. Joseph lived the rest of his life in Canton, never returning to Oshawa, and passed away in 1924. Thank you for joining me and the Oshawa Museum in this monthly podcast series.